and they pause. Okay, so let's start. Every uh, left hand out. And slowly chuck a suki. Ish. Ni. Sap. Shi. Go. Look. Shi. Hatch. Kup. Jo. Okay, spin pa. It's. Ni. Sap. Shi. Go. Look. Shi. Hatch. Kup. Jo. Ay, I'm ahead. Alright, it's good. Okay, hey, scratch feet together. And slowly, my get itch. Ni. Sa. Shi. Go. Look. Shitch. Hatch. Kup. Yo. Okay, swing pa. Itch. Ni. Sa. Shi. Go. Look. Shitch. Hatch. Kup. Yo. Ay, 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 Okay, every warm ready? Okay, excellent, good. So, okay, let's just uh, stick with that my game for now. Okay guys, every uh, left leg forward. Not particularly long stance, kind of just a, like maybe even a little bit shorter than Duke I. Like not Duke I, maybe a little bit shorter. Hips kind of neutral, kind of go. Go from that hip abdomen, squeeze, just kicking my again and slowly back. Okay, relax your upper body, keep it still. Okay, itch, knee. Sun, she, go, look, shitch, hatch, two, two. Okay, good, change leg. Okay, nice shots, ten more. It's, di, sun, she, go, look, shitch, hatch, two, two. Okay, good. Then guys, we're just kind of relaxing, kind of getting, getting into it, yeah, getting warm. Then try to uh, avoid kind of any kind of wind up or any kind of uh, labored movement. So I'm like, I'm counting in that rhythmic way. And so people are kind of kicking in that kind of, in that time that they have. So you kind of one, two, three, and you kind of, and like the kick, like from here to here is at like the speed that anybody can do, right? But it's that, that initial part, you're kind of winding up, rolling into it, kind of transferring your weight, kind of knee lift, and then kicking. I, I want you to just kind of go from your abdomen. So even though I'm counting in that kind of rhythmic way, don't take your time. Kick and then relax. This nice relax, kick and back and then relax. This really go kick back and relax. Then kick back and relax. So everything is fast, not just kind of like the, the last 50% of the kick. Understand? Oops. Okay, let's try, yeah? Also, don't, not so much, not so much handy, so you can kick it across your body. Just neutral, yeah? Neutral, then hip twist. Okay, itch. Knee. Sa. She. Go. Look. Shitch. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, change. Okay, a little bit of random count. Go when you, when, go when you hear my count. Okay, yo. Didn't count yet, Paul Sensei. Okay, it's. Didn't count yet, Paul Sensei. B. Sun. Chi. Go. Didn't count yet, Paul Sensei. No. Okay, yeah, man, yeah, man. Then, guys, like, you know, when I, when I first started karate back in the 80s, uh, and there's some people that have been trained a lot longer than that, you know, like, all, all the counts used to be, like, that random kind of count. And they used to kind of, ha-ha, got you out of it, like, I've just been, you know, making fun of Paul. You're like, like oh, I, got, I caught you out, you went before the count, that type of thing. And it's just really irritating and kind of like, uh, you know, just kind of one-upmanship, or, you know, I got you out kind of thing. Well, but actually, the, the sometimes it, it does have a useful, a useful kind of, a, kind of uh, meaning because it kind of is that trigger. And so people are in that relaxed state ready to go rather than just predicting the going, predicting the count. So it's like sometimes kind of important to think about it in that way. You understand? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, next, guys. Uh, left leg forward. You come on. Okay. I'll watch you from the side. Left leg back, right leg forward. Right leg back, left leg forward. I want you to think about keeping your weight forward. Bring your back leg, drive forward. 
Back leg drive forward. So all you're doing is, sh is shifting stance, but don't step, step. Keep where you are, leg change so you're driving in. Leg change so you're driving in. Understand? Okay, give it a go guys, it's fairly simple. Okay, 30 seconds, go for it. Back forward, back forward, not forward back. Paul says, hey, not forward back, back forward. Front leg, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Paul says he's having a bit of a nightmare today. <laughs> yeah, our Paul, yeah. Our Paul. <laughs> no, uh, oh, Paul Oren, not Paul Dobbins. Then, uh, guys, keep your back straight. Like Bernard, don't, don't allow your, like we're just watching Bernard, a little bit of this going on. Try to keep that engaged, engage right going through the movement, yeah? Okay. Okay, I'm in, good. Everybody has six, successfully put one foot back and one foot forward. Like just saying, like Ben was doing that, but not, not, you know, I'm sure he's not the only one. Don't release, release then step. Yeah, I did, I keep that engaged right the way through. So you're driving in. You're having this sense of keeping your hip completely engaged, body mass going forward and going in, yeah, rather than releasing your hip in any way. Oops. Understand? Oops. Okay, okay, good. Okay, next one, guys. I want you to think foot back, then kick. Foot back, then kick my getting. So I'll, sh I'll show you from here. Foot back, foot forward, just like we did. And there'll be that natural kind of movement forward, which leads to the my getting. You can step forward afterwards, yeah? So, so there's one, two, kick, goody. There's one, two, kick. Uh, left leg is left foot back, right foot forward kick. There's one, two, three. Understand? Okay, one, two, three. Go for it, guys. Let me see what you do. Then, then, Rosemary, it's not step, step, kick. The step is the kick, yeah? Let that step be the momentum of your kick, yeah? Gary, Gary Johnson, go keep on your toes, yeah? Keep light. Light on your toes and so you're springing in. Then uh, Richard Myers, let your kick go in afterwards, yeah? Just so you're not holding on to that kick. Let your kick go in afterwards. So, so your step, 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 kick, step forward afterwards. Allow yourself not to, go, to go forward, yeah? Okay, yame, yame. Okay, so guys, look, there's got to be a really good reason why we would step back in order to kick forward, yeah? So, so if I'm kicking, say I'm gonna kick with this leg and I'm gonna step back, step forward, then kick, well, it has to be either more powerful or, there has to be a reason why I would, I'm doing that rather than just kicking with my left leg. You know, surely kicking with my left leg is quicker, right? So there has to be a reason. So I want you to feel that this is driving you forward by, like this is just a plyometric spring. You'll see this, like gymnasts do it all the time. You know, gymnasts where they're jumping and then they're moving as they start. Like they're using this plyometric release to create more explosive power. And that's all we're doing, yeah? I don't want you to step, step, then kick. You have milliseconds, milliseconds to allow that potential energy to lead to um, to explosive start, right? So it has to be dun dun dun. This feeling of one, two, three, kick, kick. This one, two, three. It can't be one, two, three. If it's that length of time, you've lost that, that spring. Understand? Okay, couple more minutes, guys. Just try, try to get that spring. If you've got any questions, please feel free to unmute yourself and ask. Then Mike, Mike, American Mike, allow yourself to step forward afterwards, yeah? So all your power's been driven forward, yeah? Then Ichiban, Ichiban Karate, Ichiban Karate, don't think that you're going back in any way. Keep thinking forward, forward and then go. Okay, not back then go, yeah? Only way forward. That's it, Mihal, good. 
Oh, good, nice kick. I just jumped in there, Felix, I saw. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, Celeste. That's it. Good. Okay, yummy, yummy. Good. Guys, you understand? Let's see what I'm saying. So you've got, like, this is kind of creating that kind of explosive start. Uh, and, and so hopefully, hopefully the, the Maya game is going to be kind of, well, more explosive start, which is what we were talking about at the beginning, where people, people were starting slowly. That last, that last kind of 50% of the kick, well, you know, you can get some, some beginner to do it off the street that can do that. I mean, the, the last 50% of any technique from here to there, or whatever technique really, uh, where, you know, you're punching like from here to there. Well, you can't really see the difference between some beginner and some third down. Like, you know, it is what it is. You, you kind of reach that kind of velocity very quickly. But it's the start that we work on. It's, the, it's trying to improve the start. And anybody who's kind of develops a level of karate, it's their initiation of technique that's fast. Because the end of the technique is going to be the end of the technique. You understand? Yep. Okay, good. Okay, so next one. I want you to just, like, we'll go back to my Getty. I want you to feel like you're stretching your body. So don't just swing your arm. Feel like you're opening your chest. As a result, your arm will move. So as you're kicking, just try that opening of your chest. That feeling. That feeling, yeah? What does that sound? Yes. Okay. Like, not normally I would say, please don't do this. In fact, no, I wouldn't say please. I'd, say, I'd normally say, don't do this. But for now, I just want you to open your chest. Open your chest. You can allow your arm to swing a little bit. As that mind again, comes out. And feel that stretch. Stretch feeling. Simon says to keep you back straight there when you kick. Then Morton, it only has to be your, the same, same hand as your leg. You don't have to do both arms. So your, your left, guys, your left hand, if you kick with your right leg, your left hand can basically stay where it is. It's your right hand that can move. As you go through that target, yeah? Rather than both, yeah? For most people, it's a natural thing, yeah? Try both legs, guys. Think, okay, yame, yame. We're going to do like 30 more seconds, but, but like think about this in the context of starting your technique. You know, like we were talking about before, we were talking about like how people are kind of winding up to the technique and then, and then the last 50% is fast. I want you to feel like how this is helping Kind of pull your knee forward, that stretch of your chest, and then release to get that sharp knee lift. Stretch of your chest, sharp knee lift. Stretch of your chest, my getting feeling, yeah? So it's the initiation of the kick that's creating the technique. And like we think Shotokan, this is kind of not particularly normal, but if you do Kyokushin Karate, it's very normal, yeah? Kyokushin is very much kind of upper body, counter rotates as they drive the kick in or the knee in. Understand? Yeah, understand. Okay, last minute, guys. Last 30 seconds, then we're going to move on. So this Gakuzuki Maigeni feeling, try to make it smooth, yeah? The start of the Maigeni is the Gakuzuki. The Gakuzuki leads to the Maigeni. And try to get that kind of full range. In, in, in feeling, yeah? Understand? Okay, give it a go, guys. If you've got any questions, please ask. Nobody's asked me any questions yet, but if you, if you do, please ask. Morton, Gakuzuki first though, yeah? Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. Stay 
Sensei, I have a question. Yes. Sorry, the Yakuzuki, yeah? Me, sorry. The Yakuzuki, keep it a natural, yeah? Hang on, I'm just finding you, Tommy. Hang on, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, okay, good for Tommy. Say that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natural, yeah. Not... yeah, no, really, really yeah, super, but... yeah, super, super natural. As, as uh, like driving in, uh, and the, and the, the more you drive in, the more stretch you're creating, and then as soon as you hit that kind of apex of the technique, then you're starting that maigiri. So that driving into maigiri. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, mate, guys, just just watch, yeah, because Tommy Tommy brings up a good a good thing that I think uh, quite a lot of you are um, are a little bit kind of um, doing. Well, I've, I've seen a few of you do it. So some of you are doing this. Some of you are stopping. Now, anything with a stretch shorten cycle, which means that we're stretching our muscle and in in the stretch, then we're engaging it, so we're stretching it and then shortening it. If we stop then we lose that potential uh, gain that we were trying to create, yeah? So if you're stopping your body and then trying to gain that kind of, you know, it's not gonna work, yeah? It has to be kind of instant. Some people are punching Gakuzuki, hikite, and then kicking maige. Again, it's gone. So you're not making hikite, you're going from the Gakuzuki to the open. So like the course of your punch is going straight but then open, which is a little bit kind of different from like a normal snap, right? So some people are stopping, some people are habitually pulling back. Now I want you to in open. And then from that in open feeling, you allow the migraine to come out. Understand? Yeah? Okay, last 30 seconds. And then we're gonna make it more difficult. Yeah, good Cassidy's good, good, good. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so guys, let's go from, from where we were before, yeah? Which was, which was that switch stance. So think in Gakuzuki. In Gakuzuki as you switch stance. So your Drive, it's going to be, you're going to, you, wherever leg, leg you go forward, right leg, right hand. You're going to be punching with your right hand and kicking with your right leg. But it's going to be Gakuzuki Maigeri. So, so this driving in, as you do switch, which leads to the Maigeri. Which leads to the Maigeri. So this, one, two. I can't really do it slowly, but like this, one, two, three. Understand? Okay, so Gakuzuki switch stance Maigeri. Well, you're not doing three techniques, you're doing one technique which seamlessly leads one after the next, after the next. Okay, do that guys, try it. Any questions, just ask. Wrong leg, Morton, yeah? Same leg, same hand. So as you're punching forward, you're, no, no, as, yeah, as you're punching forward, yeah, yeah, no, no, wrong leg, wrong leg. So Morton, Morton, as you punch with your right hand, your right leg steps back, and then you kick with your right leg. Yeah, 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 then kick. Yeah, then kick. Yeah, right, leg. Right, leg. right leg, right hand. Right hand, right leg. Not opposite. Yeah, no, no, that's opposite. Right hand punch. Switch stance, left, right hand kick. Sorry, right leg kick. Yeah. Yeah, mate, yeah, mate. Guys, just, just watch, yeah? Watch, watch, watch. But, like, have this sense that, um, so have that sense that you're, like, you're kind of this Kamai, like a uh, normal Kamai, right leg forward, or left leg forward, wherever it is. But, like, you're going in. You don't want to have a sense that you're going back. You don't want to go back. You want to have that sense of going in and then switching, switching to kind of create that maigeri. So from here, it's Gakuzuki thought, but still feeling go forward to the kick. You understand? Forward to the kick. 
you understand? Not back to forward. Forward, forward. Yeah? If you think about this, this is his opening side. This is his opening side, right? So this is the side that I'm easily more able to go into. Okay? Okay, last 30 seconds, guys, go for it. Like yourself, like most people are doing what I've done, which is kick and step back, right? So, so you're you're from here, left leg forward, and you're kicking with your right leg, kicking and coming back, yeah, and trying to follow that kind of traditional kind of mawashi course, yeah. Be super strict yourself that you're not using your upper body, just just your hip, so you're not swinging your upper body. Understand? Good. Okay, so uh, right leg forward, left hand kick, left leg kick. Okay, it's knee. Sun, she, go, look, shit, one more, ha, Then, <laughs> Andy, get your foot back on the floor as soon as possible. No one's there to take a photograph of you, okay? Although I am recording this. Yeah, but like, Andy's, Andy Bailey's not the only one. But don't, don't be kicking, stopping, and then falling back. Like, the practice in this is two things. Firstly, keeping control of your kamai. Secondly, having the strength to pull back, having the strength in your hips to pull back your leg in that hikiash moment, right? The, the training's not really the kick. Uh, like many things, the, the, the obvious superficial bit is not really what we're thinking about. Really, upper body control, hip control, being able to kick and come back quickly. Uh, that's what we're trying to work on. Understand? Yep. Okay, guys, 30 seconds. Let me see what you're doing so I can, I can flick through all the screens and see what everybody's doing. Go for it. Try not to use your upper body at all. Then, um, Richard, Richard Myers, I think, like, holding that form is, is I mean, it's not as bad. Richard, like holding it like this is, is not as bad, but, but it's just ingrains another habit. Much better just to, le to, to force yourself to learn how to control a Kamai, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Then, then work on that, yeah, good. Then uh, Deborah Robinson, like you, you look flexible, good, but like so challenge yourself a little bit more. Make sure, like, like I can get away with it as well, where you're kind of, you're kind of kicking and, and like this bit doesn't have to move at all. But challenge yourself, because this is what you're working, yeah? So really challenge yourself to make sure you're coming round and round back as well. Just because, you know, this is, this is weight training for your body, yeah? Okay, good, good. Okay, so, you know, one kick, kind of almost an infinite amount of ways that we can actually practice that kick, yeah? And that's just one way of, of doing that. Okay, next one, what I want you to do is now think about your upper body. I want you to think about how we can twist. Twist. So coming back, coming back should be a whole lot easier now, right? And if people were naturally doing it, uh, and then we took, we took that away from you in order to work the, the kind of the hip strength, now I want you to use it. So as you kick, I want you to just twist in opposition. And what this will do is create a stretch, 
Like this way will create a stretch for the Moshigeri, and then this one will help you come back. So, so kind of in, kick back. In, kick back. Understand? Try guys, give it a go. Now, uh, kick Halligan opposite way. So if you're kicking with your right leg, upper body goes in, and as you're kicking with your right leg, right hand comes back. As you kick. As you kick. Then guys, don't crumple your body when you do this. The worst thing you can do is then, is then end up with your bum sticking out and your back bent, yeah? Still keep your upper body straight. Still your upper body straight and controlled, yeah? Control your center. Don't stick your bum out. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Okay, good, good. Everyone understand? Yep. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's see if we can convert that to to uh, to Gakazuki. So, so exactly the same, yeah. This in Gakazuki release, in Gakazuki release, and really kind of try to feel that. Like you're sacrificing so much with that hand coming back by not having Kamai that you've got to make sure that it really increases the speed of your kick. So that Gakazuki is the start of the Mawashigeri. This one, then you're going to pull this and leave yourself vulnerable so that knee has to be quick to get round for the Mawash. Understand? Yes. Okay, give that a go guys, couple of minutes. Then guys, don't forget, like the, the punch itself is not so much a punch as a stretch. You're, you're doing the punch in order to stretch your, your body, in order to be able to then quickly kind of snap it shut as you produce the more area. Yeah? So if there's any tension associated with that punch, then it will really inhibit this kind of ability to, to twitch uh, start your more area. Yeah? So relax it, relax, relax, try the more area. Yeah? has been reached by all 83 of you. Okay, so, next, in. This time, we're gonna come back then, because I'm a Suki feeling. So, in, use that twist to make it a fast, but once you get it, you to come back in order to drive forward, because I'm a Suki. Let me slow it down. In, more once you get it back, because I'm a Suki. You got that? So the Gakazuki is the start of the Mawashigeri. The rotation of your, of your upper body is the return of the Hikiyash. The Hikiyash is the Kizamazuki. Okay? Oof. Try guys, give it a go. Stop, say. Yes. Is the Kizami on a straight line or are you using a slight rotation to... Hang on, sorry. Just, hang on, hang on, guys. Say that again, Matt. Say it. Uh, I, I would, well, I mean, obviously, there's an infinite amount of possibilities depending on, on who you're punching. But yeah, for sure, that kind of feeling of, of coming back leads to a kind of circular, kind of a, as you're rotating, that foot goes back, that body starts to release inside. Yeah, I mean, in my mind, it's that type of combination, yeah. Gary, head up, back straight. You know what your feet look like. <laughs> Gary, 
Larry Johnson, stop looking down. Look forward. <laughs> Yeah, Marisa, that's good. Then David Clinton stepping back after the Mawashigiri. So, in, in Gakusuki, kicking Mawashigiri, stepping back to the same spot, then driving in Kazamazuki. Not forward. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, good. Then uh, Evelina, really challenge yourself into, into getting that hip in as much as you can. You look, you, in, in the very small screen I can see, you look young and flexible. So really try to get that completely in and then challenge yourself to come back, yeah? Don't hold back. Uh, Colin Friel, don't snap back on that Gakazuki. Not, not one, two, because then you've lost all that potential. That one, two, one, two, one, two, Felix. That's the, that movement of your arm is the initiation for that knee lift. Yeah, nice Christian, that's it. Good. Okay, yummy, good. Good. Guys, do you get the feeling? Is that a thumbs up? Yeah, good. So, so like, it's very fleeting. That ability to use that is very fleeting. So you don't want to kind of, kind of give it away in, in any way, yeah? And, uh, you know, for example, if you, if you were, like if I just ask you to lift your knee, lift your knee, then you can kind of create a certain amount of a dynamic movement. But if you think about kind of how you had a hand up, and you were kind of doing that with your upper body, as you brought your knee up, like if you grabbed hold of someone, here's a gary that feeling, or, or just simply that, bringing your hand to the knee. It's a whole different dynamic there. So have that feeling, whether you're doing my gary, whether you're doing mawashi gary, it's that stretching with your upper body, then closing for that knee lift to produce that far sharper, sharper uh, knee lift for the preparation of the kick. Understand? Good. Okay, good. Okay, next one, just try hand out, hand out, then up and down. So, so front leg, front leg, up and down feeling. So from this stretch feeling, squeeze, squeeze, knee lift and relax. This squeeze, knee lift and relax. Understand? Good. Give that a go guys, try. Then uh, Bernard, not just not just not just a knee lift, hand open, then knee lift, feeling. Yeah, 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 that feeling. Then uh, BT Thornton 001, not punching, not punching and knee lift at the same time. This is your start point, and you're bringing this down as you're linking the knee up. Yeah. Open, close, really, yeah. Then uh, Sonia Lazar, relax your upper body, yeah? A little bit too much tension in your upper body. Remember, go from that relaxed position. Uh, Susanna, try not to lean back on that knee lift, yeah? You want to squeeze your abdomen so you're keeping your back straight, yeah? Okay. Good, good. Okay, so, uh, guys, we're running out of time desperately. However, last one. This, this, Kizamazuki. Kizamazuki Uruma wash down. Kizamazuki. One up feeling. One stretch. Close. This, stretch, close Uruma wash. So you're one, two feeling. Understand? Try, give it a go. <coughs> the kick doesn't have to be high, guys. Just start it quickly. Kick low, I don't care, just start it quickly, yeah? Oh, nice time, he says, hey, nice. <laughs> okay, guys, just watch, 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 watch. So look, Kizamazuki, right? We're in Kazamazuki. So that 
leg step, that hikite, that knee lift is together. As, as, as difficult as it is, one, two, three. From that point, in, in, recover. In, recover, on a watch. That feeling. Understand? The moment that you kind of don't time that together, uh, then you lose all that potential uh, advantage. Okay? Okay, last minute, guys, last minute, go for it. Nice, Martin. Good. Then uh, Annette, get your knee up higher instantly. As soon as you start to re, re, re pull that, pull that uh, hand back. Get your knee up higher. Knee up higher. Yeah? Up, foot forward. Knee up. Yeah, nice, Amanda. Yeah, good. But don't sacrifice leaning for your height, yeah? Don't worry about the height of the kick. Yeah, nice, nice, be hard, nice, Felix. What a watch there, yeah? Nice, Vicky, but you're sacrificing, you're sacrificing your leaning of your body so you can kick high. No need, right? Like, this squeezing is important, so that means keeping your, keeping your body straight, yeah? Last eight seconds, guys. Time went quickly. That's it. I've got the time. Um, guys, a couple, couple of things I would say uh, before, before I uh, give you a chance to ask questions and then we'll have a short break. Uh, first thing is that this is all about kind of stretching your body and then being able to close it to, to initiate that kick really quickly. And, and a lot of people, especially when it got to kind of the Urumu wash, a lot of people will then leaning, Moshigeri a little bit, Maigeri not so much, yeah? But the Oro Moshigeri and the uh, Moshigeri, you're leaning to maybe sacrifice like this integrity for the high kick. Well, the more you lean, the less able you are to compress in the way that we were doing, yeah? So we're compressing this way for, um, of course, um, Maigeri, but we're also compressing this way for Moshigeri, Oro Moshigeri. So try to avoid kicking high by doing that. Because really you're kind of sacrificing this, this ability, yeah? Uh, and the second thing I would say is that, well, the second thing I, I want to say is that like we, we will apply these ideas to, to maybe some uh, elements of kata tomorrow. Most people are doing both uh, today and tomorrow, so, so tomorrow I've got another class and we'll apply it to, to uh, kata and how we, can do, how we can use this movement and this model to produce explosive movement in kata as well. Understand? Of course. Okay, 30 seconds, any questions? Nothing. No one ever asks me yeah, questions. Oh, hang on. Andy does. Go on, Andy. Um, obviously, my, my left leg with the hip replacement, I'm really struggling. I'm having a short twitch power with it. That twitch response. I find it really difficult. My right leg's fine. But better. Yeah. Um, but I'm really struggling. I don't know what they've done in there. <laughs> but it, it's, it, I've, I've lost that well, twitch. As a professional hip surgeon, Andy, you know, I, I know all these yeah. things. Um, well, I mean, I suspect you're, you're, you're right-handed and right-legged, yes? Yeah. And you've also had a hip replacement on your left, yes? Yeah. So I, I think probably it's just going to be artificially, or not artificially, it's going to be more, it's going to be weaker than the other side, yeah? This side, you're going to favor your right side, you're going to do that, demonstrate, etc. Left side, left, so, especially after operation. So, I mean, it's just a case of if there's an imbalance within one side and the other, it just means going back and, and making sure that there's not an imbalance in your training or in your demonstrating. So some of the things that I have to kind of remind myself constantly because I get, I get pain in my, my right hip because I'm making ham knee uh, and I'm obviously demonstrating all the time with my left leg forward. I have to sometimes kind of remind myself to, to demonstrate with my right leg forward just so that this is equally kind of working. Um, so, so not only balancing your training, which most people do, because we're dictating that, you know, you step forward, you step forward, you step forward. But as an instructor, balancing your teaching. 
making sure you're demonstrating just as much on one side as the other. Understand? Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. We'll leave it there. Fifty-nine on my side. Okay. Ready?